Well, here is something that you don't really hear about when we talk about zoning board meetings. A couple in Amherst needed to request a special permit for their pet pig named Pork Chop. Here's Two on Your Side's Jackie Roberts. From the outside, this home on Castle Court in Amherst looks like any other. But it's something in the backyard that makes it a little different. Oh. Meet Pork Chop a pig and emotional support animal for Courtney Cruz. I went through a very rough time and honestly he has helped me through a lot of that. Courtney tells us she suffers from anxiety and depression. She's had the two year old pig since he was just four weeks old. Porkchop helps Courtney get through the day and she says he has a pretty good setup too. He lives better than most pigs. <laughs> He's spoiled. But a few months back, Pork Chop got out and was tracked down by police. Since then, not everyone in the town thinks he should be able to stay. And for some people, the pig and Amherst debate feels like deja vu. Two years ago, we had um, ham solo. That was not approved because it's not permitted. Hoofed animals are not permitted in an R3 zone. Before the meeting, Courtney told us that was her biggest fear. It would break my heart and the whole town of Amherst would see my mental breakdown, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> so Courtney and her family pleaded with the town zoning board asking for an exception, but they weren't the only people who had something to say. If it looks like a pig, walks like a pig, acts like a pig, it's a pig. The zoning board ultimately denied the request to allow Pork Chop to stay in Amherst. But his time with Courtney is not over because in just a few weeks, her family's moving to Tennessee and taking Pork Chop with them because to them, he's more than just a pig. You can put a smile on my face at any moment, anytime I'm feeling upset or something. He's just, he's there. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.